Okay, welcome everyone to the 16th meeting in 2019 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. First item of business is to propose that we take items 5 and 6 on consideration of the Delegated Powers provisions in the non-domestic rates Scotland Bill and our draft annual report in private. Does the committee agree to that? Yes. Okay. Item 2, considering instruments subject to affirmative procedure, no points have arisen on the following draft instruments. Children and Young People, Scotland Act 2014, Modification Number 1 and Modification Number 2, Orders 2019. The Head Teachers Education and Training Standards, Scotland Regulations 2019. Private Housing Tenancies, Scotland Act 2016, Modification of Schedule 1, Regulations 2019, the Code for the Welfare of Meat, Chickens and Breeding Chickens, Revocation Scotland Notice 2019, and Welfare of Farmed Animals Scotland Amendment Regulations 2019. Is the Committee content with these instruments? Okay, okay item 3, considering instruments subject to negative procedure, no points have been raised on SSI's 2019 144, 159 and 160. Is the committee content with these? Okay. And item four, we're considering an instrument and a document laid for consultation. So it's the Scottish Public Services Ombudsman Healthcare Whistleblowing Order 2019, proposed draft order and explanatory document, uh, SG 2019, 66 and 67. The proposed draft order's general purposes are to create a new route for whistleblowers in the healthcare sector to bring complaints to the Scottish Public Services Ombudsman and extend the list of bodies to whom the Ombudsman can disclose information obtained in the course of an investigation. The draft order is proposed for consultation. A finalised order would be laid after the consultation stage and considered again by the committee. There's an error in the proposed draft order relating to the misspelling of whistleblower. And the full explanation is set out in our published papers. The government's undertaken to correct this error in the draft order to be laid under section 252B of the Public Services Reform Scotland Act 2010 following the current consultation stage. And the government's also undertaken to clarify some aspects in the explanatory document to be laid with the draft order as set out in its written response to the committee. So a couple of questions. Does the committee wish to draw the proposed draft order to the attention of the Parliament on the general reporting ground as there is an error in Article 3.2 so far as inserting Section 6A.4 of the Scottish Public Services Ombudsman Act 2002? Okay. And does the committee wish to note the government has undertaken to correct this error when the order is laid after the consultation stage? Okay, and I'll move the meeting into private.